I don't know exactly the price of this computer when it was brand new, but one of the Xeon processors in it went for $1,663 when it was brand new. And that's just one of the CPUs in there. So just the CPUs in this computer, when it was brand new, were over $3,000. The two Xeon processors in this computer are six cores a piece running at 3.33 gigahertz per core. So that's 12 cores. This computer also has 48 gigabytes of RAM. So here we go, here it is. And I apologize if you're hearing any humming noise, it's because I'm standing about three feet from my uh, refrigerator in here. So we'll try and make this as quick as possible. But here's what it looks like. This thing is a tank. It's built like a tank, it's all metal construction. There's only some plastic on the front, but the top, the sides, and the front, it's all metal. This is actually aluminum up front here. Now the two pieces of painter's tape, one you can see here and one is out of uh, frame here. And it's basically just covering up some important information. This is the Dell service tag info. Not that I might ever use it, but just keep that private. And then up here out of frame is the Windows 7 Pro COA that this comes with. Now I'm under the impression that this does not have Windows installed on it, so I'm going to have to put uh, Windows 7 Pro on here, just have to get a disk and use a COA up here. But I have encountered when I've purchased things off of eBay that when it says there is no OS on there, it actually has an OS on there. I do believe there is a hard drive in here, but that will be the deciding factor. If there's no hard drive in here, then obviously there's no OS installed. But that COA is nice to have on the case here because then I don't have to use one of my Windows licenses to uh, put windows on here. So here's the front of the PC. There's actually an area back here for uh, airflow. It's all mesh behind this aluminum piece here and that's going to, I believe, probably bring air in. Uh, I'll have to take a look at the fan configuration when I actually open this up. But you have sort of a grill down here and then obviously like I had shown you here before, there's a space here, probably about an inch or so behind this aluminum piece that allows for an intake. You have your Dell badge here, and again, everything is aluminum. Uh, the power button is here. Then you have some front-mounted ports here. You have your mic port, your headphone jack. You have two USB 2.0s, and then you have a Firewire port here. Now, here is your expansion here. You have four bays and yeah, you can see it all there. The top bay is taken up by a DVD-ROM. I don't know if I'm gonna replace that. I don't really think I'm gonna need a DVD writer in here because this is my editing rig and just having a DVD-ROM drive in there is fine, so I'm probably gonna keep that. But if I wanted to replace it or add to it, obviously I have options here. Here is a uh, three and a half inch little uh, area here where you can put something front mounted. I don't know exactly what I'm going to use in there right now, but I am going to expand on this either using one or two of these, and that will be in future videos. And up here, I don't know if you can see it, but it says Dell Precision T7500. Again, this thing is a tank. Now, I haven't weighed this PC, but I do work out, and I would say this thing weighs at least 45 pounds, just to give you an idea. So this is the back of the PC here. You have another fan in here. Um, probably an intake, probably, no, it's probably an exhaust fan to push out the back. You have your ports here, your IO ports. A lot of this I wouldn't use, the parallel port and serial port and everything like that. Even the firewire port I wouldn't use. It has uh, PS2 ports here for your mouse and keyboard. Not gonna use that, I'm gonna use USB. It does have on the back here, it has four USBs here. It has an eSATA port here. 
You have your uh, audio ports on the back as well, your mic and headphone. You have an Ethernet port here and two more USBs. So with the two USBs on the front and six on the back, you have eight USB ports on here. That should suffice. I really think I am going to add USB 3.0 to this and I would need uh, to do that via an expansion card. But again, that's going to be on another video. Now here is the graphics card. I'm going to have to open this up to actually find out what kind of graphics card it is. It's probably going to be a Quadro graphics card because that's what you get on these workstations. So here are all the expansion bays. There are seven of them here. So depending on the graphics card I get, um, we'll see the configuration you know, when I actually put it together. Uh, here's another vent back here, another vent here, and up top here is the power supply. And again, it, that's at least 1100 watts. So here's the left side of the PC, and this might have been the side that you saw initially, I don't know, but we'll go over it again. I'll show you the other side as well. Uh, this is a side that doesn't open up. I'm sure you could get it open, but um, the other side is actually the side that is meant to be accessed. So you have your Dell branding embossed into the metal here. A lot of scratches here, but again, not going to be seeing this at all. This is actually going to be facing a wall, so I'm not going to see it anyway. Uh, but it, the basic color scheme on this is silver on the aluminum and then black on the rest of the case. On the bottom here, there are some plastic feet here, and it looks like there's some sort of potential to hook this on something. I don't know exactly how this would be you know, rigged up originally. There is no venting on the bottom. The venting just comes from the front and through the back. So here's the right side of the case, and this side is actually less scraped up, although it does have some scratches and some of the paint is rubbed off. Again, not an issue. This will be facing my desk, so I'm not even going to be looking at that. Now, over here, you have a latching mechanism here, and there's actually a way that you could lock this if you want. I don't need to lock it, but in a work environment, you might want to put a padlock on here, and that way no one can actually access the computer itself. But it can be done if you want. Now this latch pulls back, and this should come off. There we go. Okay, so here's the inner workings of this machine. You have space for four hard drives in here. It does actually come with a hard drive in there. Can't really see the capacity on there. It's probably an 80 gig. Um, up here you have obviously your expansion for the uh, drives, the drive bays up here if you want. And there are a lot of fans in here. The way it's engineered, again, is bringing in air from the front and funneling it out the back. You have a fan here, you have a fan here, you have a fan here that actually cools down the RAM. Now there's an actual uh, extra board here to accommodate all the RAM. And then of course you have your, your fan back here which is an exit fan. The graphics card is a NVIDIA Quadro FX 580. Not the most up-to-date graphics card going. Again, I apologize for that noise. It's my refrigerator, and then my cat is eating over there, but uh, I'm trying to make this as brief as possible. But um, I'm going to be updating the graphics card anyway. Now, of course, down here you have your precision branding, and you have a shroud here. Again, very well engineered. There, You can get behind this shroud, but I'd have to pull out this, this uh, extra board with the RAM in it, and I don't want to do it. But uh, this is a twin Xeon, two Xeon processors in this machine. You've got some heat sinks behind here and some fans here. Again, all meant to cool this machine down. So I'm anxious to give this thing a try. So that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up, favor this video, share this video, join my Patreon. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.